Hi, I'm Kevin. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about pasta and why I cook and dehydrate it at home before I bring it on a backcountry trip. So one question I get asked an awful lot is why do I cook my pasta and dehydrate it before I bring it on a camping trip? Why don't I just bring raw pasta or um, bring raw pasta and treat it uh, the way I treat my dehydrated meals? Um, I often get asked, isn't, isn't that dehydrated pasta just bringing it back to that original state? So uh, I thought I would make a video and explore that a little bit. So I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison here. I'm going to take a cup of uncooked pasta straight out of the box and I'm going to measure out a cup of this pasta which has already been cooked and dehydrated. So this is the process to uh, dehydrate pasta at home. First cook your pasta as you normally would and strain that pasta and then spread that pasta out onto dehydrator trays. Load that dehydrator up as you uh, normally would. And set that dehydrator to 135 Fahrenheit. Both cups of pasta are going to go into a camping pot and I'm going to pour boiling water over both of them just the way I would if I was rehydrating a meal in the backcountry. To both these pots I'm going to add just enough boiling water to cover the pasta. And then I'm going to cover both pots and let them sit for 15 minutes. So let's try these two pastas. This is the one that was raw and just had boiling water added to it. And this is the one that was uh, cooked and then rehydrated. <clears throat> this one is good. This is the one that was cooked, dehydrated, and then rehydrated. It's, uh, it's pretty good, pretty good. Could have been uh, a little bit longer. Again, this didn't have the cozy. It had the disadvantage. This pasta was the raw pasta that just had boiling water added to it. It is soft to the fork, but it's really chewy. It's actually got a grainy texture to it. Not, not a good meal. Um, not uh, not good at all. I would not I would not eat that or serve it to someone else. Next I'm going to cook a cup of uh, uncooked raw pasta right out of the box um, on my camping stove just the way I would if I was making pasta at home. I'm going to follow the instructions on the box to the letter and I'm going to weigh my stove and fuel canister before and after I cook the pasta so I know how much fuel I've consumed. You're going to want 4 to 6 quarts of water per pound of pasta or 4 to 6 liters for every 450 grams. I've adjusted my volume down for the amount that I'm cooking here. Boiling this much water is going to consume a fair amount of fuel. So we're going to bring that water to a boil. And when it does, we're going to reduce our stove to a simmer. Then we can add a little salt, and then our pasta. As per the directions, we're not going to cover this, but we are going to stir it fairly frequently. After about 10 minutes, this pasta is done. I'm going to weigh my stove and canister again, and that way I can calculate how much fuel was consumed. Now for the pasta that was cooked properly. It was raw and cooked, and it uh, followed the instructions. It's the best um, of all three. Tastes, tastes like perfect pasta. So if you uh, cook your pasta at home and dehydrate it at home and then bring it out in the field with you, 
um, it'll be almost as good as regular pasta, except this consumed a lot less fuel. Normally when I uh, make a backpacking meal and I rehydrate it, I just boil some water, add it to the pot, and uh, I usually consume about eight or nine grams of fuel. So to cook pasta properly, according to the instructions on the package in the field, I consumed 33 grams of fuel. So that's a very big difference between these two uh, methods. Uh, three times the amount of fuel, more than three times the amount of fuel, if you cook your pasta according to the instructions um, as you would at home. So um, that's a big difference. If you're going to make a lot of pasta meals, that's a lot more fuel to carry. So I'm going to continue to cook my pasta at home and uh, dehydrate it and rehydrate it in the field. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, uh, please hit like and uh, consider subscribing. If you do, hit that notification bell so you get notifications whenever I publish a video. Thanks a lot. I hope you guys have a great day. Mm -hmm.